Uh, Daniel, Nicola, uh, welcome to Australia in Space TV and congratulations on the second Australia Space Cyber Forum thank here you. in Adelaide. Thank you, thank you, Chris. Uh, Daniel, you sort of mentioned uh, that the audience number's the same, but a bit meatier this year in terms of industry, government, and the real players within the space and cybersecurity community. Um, we saw a show of hands earlier today as well. You do have quite a good mix. Um, I suppose, yeah, your initial take on today and the focus uh, sessions, how you've built the program? Oh, it's gone very well. And it's also the workshop that we had the day before. So the day before we kind of kept it more technical. Uh, this is still a technical face conference, but we're getting more of the governance people in as well. And, and we learned today that cyber, the problem of cyber spa in space is a multi-team game. Uh, we need lots of experts all collaboratively working together. So it's really important to get people who can talk to each other, understand each other's words and know each other so they can collaborate when we need them. Yeah, the, the other good uh, takeaway today, I've, we've already seen this MOU signed. Uh, and Nicola, you sort of, the, the goal for the, for the forum is to have a bit of a more international uh, sort of focus as well. And you've got the Space ISAC here for yes, the first time. Yes, so the idea with uh, Daniel, with Rodrigo, is to growing, but growing in the sense of international aspects. So there are two important conferences around the world, CSAT in, uh, in Paris, in Europe, that is uh, in February, March, and then, of course, uh, Space ISAC in September, October. So we would like to be involved in, uh, in uh, this uh, area that is a niche area that is, uh, as I said this morning, is an inter interdisciplinary area. It's not just space, it's not just cyber, it's something that now with uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, uh, they start to become quantum communication, they start to become very, very uh, interesting area. Yep. So we would like to be one of the three uh, important international uh, um, conference and I agree with uh, Daniel. So the big difference of uh, last year in October that we have really uh, important uh, international uh, guests here. Important because because they bring some best practice from USA as well as in Europe. And I think the other thing is you've turned it into that two-day program with the workshops. It's an area that's difficult to not workshop. You almost have to workshop it given the complexities involved. Uh, that's right. And it's always really hard to have a technical conference and we're not going to talk about you know, typing C code or Perl script or something. People want to do it themselves. But it's also uh, uh, technical stuff takes time and so time to prepare but also time to do so we really need to separate those types of events but uh, also there's all different types of collaboration there's collaboration at a governance level collaboration at a technical level and that's why all different events occur and we're hoping to build out our part to to, to make some of that happen here and also i suppose your role with cyber ops as well uh, you've been in this domain for some time uh, there's maybe two questions is one is how much are you taking away are you going okay this is we're learning a lot along the way uh, and then also your sense of space and cyber in Australia, where we might sit, where, what, in terms okay. of a benchmark. So just today, uh, one of the people on my panel redefined what the word space qualified meant. So I actually learned and I'll now change my slides after today. All right, so that's fantastic. So um, secondly, it, uh, you know, it's a demand uh, industry, so we need demand dri driven from somewhere, and that generally comes from government, all right? And so that's why it's really good to have government department people here, and slowly but surely, they, maybe they'll feel more comfortable working with us, or they'll start ap applying more regulations because they know the industry will be able to meet those regulations and will end up with a better outcome for everyone. Uh, some takeaways. What, what do you anticipate to be a good takeaway today? Uh, other than just more discussion? Yeah, what is important it is uh, not... Uh, we need to highlight a social aspect. So, cyber and prevent cyber attack. In particular, with space that is a critical infrastructure. But also is an economic opportunity here. We talk about just space. Uh, uh, One dollar invest in space generate 4.8 dollar in the economy in general. So try to image uh, this niche of the niche, to, uh, space, cyber, how is the, the benefit for the economy in the future. So it's an, an opportunity that we need to take, not only for the social aspect, because they, we are talking about you know, uh, critical infrastructure, but it's also an opportunity for our company. Wonderful. You, Daniel? And, um, Let's go back to the international aspect. So around the Western world, there's a shortage of skills. 
uh, bringing more people here and working closely with more people from internationally, they get to see our skills and hopefully under the banner of AUKUS we can build those relationships and start to offer some of our work overseas and vice versa, build a more uh, global economy. Well great, I think uh, you two gents have done very well, uh, obviously just to the second, you've got a long future ahead of you I've no <laughs> doubt, uh, but the other one was a very early takeaway from me, you've got an MOU signing between the Australian Cyber Collaboration Centre and Space ISAC which is very, very important, first time that they've been here in Australia and they're five years old so I think you've achieved something uh, at the outset here and we look forward to, to finding out more. Thank you very much. Thank you Chris, Thank very you. kind. Thank you.